The North Atlantic right whale is a critically endangered baleen whale species and one of the largest animals in the world. Researchers estimated the species totaled only 340 individuals in 2021, representing a continuing decline in the last decade. Nowadays, these right whales mainly occur in the western North Atlantic in waters off the coast of the USA and Canada. They are rarely spotted in the eastern North Atlantic. In the past, they had a much wider range. The body of a right whale is stocky with a large head. There is no dorsal fin on top of the body. The blowspout is shaped like a V. The body is predominantly black in color. Callus-like patches of skin are found on the whale's head. These patches are called callosities and are usually covered in tiny parasites called whale lice. Each right whale has a unique pattern of callosities that scientists use for whale identification in order to track a whale's size and health. North Atlantic right whales are frequently found in coastal and continental shelf waters and, for much of the year, their distribution is strongly correlated to the distribution of their prey. Right whales feed on copepods and other zooplankton by straining large volumes of ocean water through their baleen plates. They do this by swimming slowly with their mouth open. The baleen plates filter out the tiny organisms. Right whales feed anywhere from the water's surface to the bottom of the water column. Groups of right whales can sometimes be seen actively socializing at the water's surface. They communicate using low-frequency moans, groans, and pulses. Most North Atlantic right whales migrate seasonally and head south for the winter to the shallow coastal waters of the southeastern United States. This is where the females give birth to calves. Female right whales become able to reproduce at about age 10. A female gives birth to a single calf after a year-long pregnancy. Typically, several years will pass before the same female gives birth again. Calves are about 14 feet long at birth. In the spring, the whales migrate north. They spend the summer and early fall months feeding and nursing their calves in the waters off New England and the Bay of Fundy. They may travel alone or in small groups when migrating. Adults can grow to about 52 feet long and are estimated to be able to live at least 70 years. For centuries, right whales used to be heavily hunted for their oil and baleen. Even though hunting right whales has been outlawed since 1935, they've never recovered back to their pre-whaling numbers, and their greatest threats are still caused by humans. Entanglement in fishing gear and collisions with ships are the leading causes of North Atlantic right whale deaths. Entangled whales can tow fishing gear for tens to hundreds of miles over months or even years before either being freed, shedding the gear on their own, or succumbing to their injuries. Vessel strikes can cause broken bones, enlarge internal injuries, or cuts from propellers. Ocean noise levels from human activities are also a concern. The noise may interfere with right whale communication and increase their stress levels. In recent years, researchers have recorded more deaths among adult females than adult males, leading to a population with more males than females. Females undergo energetic stress from reproduction, likely making them more susceptible than males to dying from chronic injuries such as those from entanglement or vessel strikes. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.